In this video, I will explain how to design a screw jack in Autodesk Inventor Professional. So this is the screw jack and these are the seven main components of a screw jack. Nut, screw spindle, tommy bar, CSK screw, washer, cup and body. So first I will create the body. So th you can see this is the body. Uh, I will create this body. First I will create this sketch and then revolve it. So open Autodesk Inventor Professional. Click new. Select metric, standard MMIPT, create. Then select start 2D sketch and uh, select XY plane. So this is the origin and this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. You can see here this red color indicates this X axis so this and this is the Y axis. And this, uh, this yellow point is the origin point. So first I will create the uh, uh, bottom portion. So here you can see the diameter is uh, 150 millimeter. So I will mark a point on X axis and this mark this distance as 150 by 2. So that is 75. Then next is uh, you can see this height. This height is 25 millimeter. So mark 25 millimeter here. So select line command. And from this point draw a line and this height is 25 millimeter then next is uh, here you can see this distance is 5 millimeter and the diameter is 100 millimeter so from center line to this distance it is 50 millimeter so mark a point here on x-axis and this the dimension from this center to this point is 50 millimeter then from this point draw a line in the upward direction and the length is 5 millimeter then then next is the total height of this body is 200 millimeter so mark a point on the y-axis see this is the y-axis so take a point and mark a point on the y-axis such that the distance uh, uh, between the origin to that point is 200 millimeter that is the total height of the body then in the in that portion you can see uh, uh, there are two diameters 80 millimeter and 50 millimeter so mark two points uh, here mark one point and the distance is uh, 80 by 2 that means it is 40 millimeter then ne next point mark another point and the distance is 50 millimeter 50 means that is a diameter so that is 25 millimeter so mark a point here and this distance between these two points is 25 millimeter then the next step is join these two points using straight line command so you just join these two then next is uh, draw a line here this line so the length of this line is actually 60 millimeter so from this point from this point just draw a line and the length is 60 millimeter similarly here here you can see this length is 50 millimeter so from this point draw a line here and the length is 50 millimeter okay then then from this point you can join uh, to here using a straight line but this length is not given so you can assume this length as say uh, see this length is 5 and this length is uh, greater than this length you can see so you can assume this length as 8 millimeter so I, I will uh, draw a line 
uh, take line command and I will draw a line from this so, and the length is 8 millimeter. So this is 8 millimeter. You can see this length is 8 millimeter. Then from this point draw a line to here. Okay. Then you can see this distance is 10 millimeter so you can apply offset command so there is a command called offset so click offset command and click this line and you just move this and this distance is 10 millimeter then you can see this dimension this is 10 millimeter and when you offset it so once again I will offset it so I will delete this line and okay so then again I will select offset command and then select this and this distance this offset distance is 10 millimeter <coughs> then you can uh, take the trim command and trim all the unwanted lines so these are the unwanted lines okay clear then here you can see there is an arc but the radius is not given so you can do one thing select three point arc there is an option called a three point arc select three point arc and click here so this is the first point click here and that is the second point and click here that is the third point you will get an arc connecting all these three points then in the bottom portion you can see uh, join this point to this offset line so take line command and uh, from this point to here draw a line then trim all the unwanted portions okay then here there is an arc and the radius of this arc is 10 millimeter so you can apply there is a command called a fillet command so apply fillet here see the now the fillet radius is 2 you just edit it to 10 so that uh, radius is fillet radius is 10 then connect this two points now this is the sketch so this is the sketch of the body then uh, uh, you can uh, up click the finish sketch button so this is the sketch then uh, you can see there is a command called a revolve command so select revolve command click the revolve command so the the window opens you can see there are two options one is profile and second one is axis so profile means you can see one profile that means this is the profile this sketch is the profile and the next option is the axis line so you can select the axis so you know the axis line is y axis so go to the model browser and you can see this is the y axis axis is y axis click axis y axis so you can see in the axis you can see one axis and that means that is the y axis then you can click ok so now you can see this is your body then the material of this body is cast iron okay so i will next i will apply cast iron to this body so for that go to file then there is an option called eye properties click eye properties then physical we can see the material so in uh, you just click the button then different type of materials so you can our material is actually cast iron so from this you can select cast iron so iron cast okay so iron cast so all the properties of that cast iron will be into this body then apply close 
so now this material is cast iron then uh, next I will save this uh, body so save us so I will save it in my local disk D and create a local disk D and create a new folder screw jack and then file name as body then save so now this uh, body is saved then next step is I will uh, uh, I will uh, uh, I can I want to see the sectional views so there's an option called a view and uh, there are different section views quarter section view half section view three quarter section view end section view etc so now I will see the half section view so select half section view then you can you want to select uh, the plane uh, which plane okay you can select yz plane or you can select xy plane so now I will select xy plane so click xy plane so and click the tick button so now you can see this is the sectional view so this is the section and this is the uh, this is the cross section of this body if you want to exit from this you just click the end section view. like this you can uh, uh, select quarter section view three quarter section view etc so I will uh, save it and close it then next step is I will take the drawing if uh, if my all the dimensions are correct or not I want to check that so select new metric for drawing you want to open this uh, drawing file so here I am open ANSI MMDWG click ANSI MMDWG and then create so it will take some time to open the drawing file so loading please wait so you can see this is the drawing sheet so first you will edit the size of the drawing sheet so here you can see sheet 1 so right, right click here edit sheet then you can see the size of the sheet so change it into A4 and the orientation see there are two orientation portrait and landscape so now I will apply landscape so size is A4 and the orientation is landscape then press OK then you can see the outer portion that is called a border if you want to delete the border line you just click right click the default border and delete then this this represents the title block if you want to delete this title block right click on ANSI large and then delete so now this is a plain sheet of A4 size then uh, I will uh, next step is uh, uh, first I will choose the correct uh, uh, projection is it a first angle projection or is it a third angle projection so we are following first angle projection so first I will uh, adjust that so go to manage then go to styles editor manage then styles editor and then go to view preferences so you can see the projection type so the, the third angle projection is uh, already selected so uh, our uh, projection is first angle projection so I, I just click the first angle projection symbol then save and close now this is the first angle projection so first angle projection means object is in first quadrant that means front view will be above xy line and top view will be below xy line then go to place views then select base then from this uh, browse this go to local disk d my uh, object is in local disk d and uh, screw jack is the folder name so screw jack and then select body then open So now you can see uh, a view then I will change it into uh, now this is the front view I will change it into top view using the view cube now this is the uh, view cube so here the you can adjust the scale now the scale is 1 by 4 so I will apply 1 by 2 1 is to 2 then click OK so this is the top, top view you just click the uh, top view and then move using mouse to the left side 
then next is uh, select projected view and click here and then move the mouse you can uh, and then left click and then right click and then create so this is the front then again select click projected and click the front view and then move to the right side so you will get the side view left click right click then create then if you want to the pro the pictorial view or 3d view you just again project click projected and click the front view and then move the mouse so you will get the a pictorial view so left click then right click create if you want to this as a shaded option so here uh, you can see there is an option called a style in the style option you just click the shaded option then okay so you will get like this in the shaded option if you want to take the sectional uh, front view so i will show you the sectional front view so i will i just click this uh, front view and then delete it so there is an option called do you want to delete view and its dependence okay that means uh, if you delete the front view what happens is the side view is also deleted deleted because the side view is projected from front view so you can see the side view is already al uh, already deleted when we delete the front view side view is also deleted because side view is projected from front view that's why so here there is an option called a section you just click the section and then uh, click the top view then uh, uh, draw the section line through the center and then right click and then continue and then move the mouse so you, you will get the uh, sectional sectional front view then uh, for getting the side view just click the projector then click the front view and then move the mouse uh, right left click right click create so this is the uh, side view so this is the top view this is the sectional front view and this is the side view and this is the picture view so now i will check my dimensions is it correct or not so you, uh, this is my uh, dimension so the top diameters are 80 and 50 first i will check that so the top diameters so for that go to annotate then dimension and from this point to this point this is 80 so it's correct it's correct then this diameter is 50 so again it's correct then next is this uh, this distance is 60 and this distance is 50 so check that so this uh, this distance is 50 it's again correct and this uh, this distance is 60 it's again correct okay and this this is the radius the the fillet radius is 10 check the fillet radius is 10 yeah it's fillet radius is 10 we can see the fillet radius system and this this distance is 25 so next uh, next check this is 25 yeah this is 25 and here this is 5 here this distance is 5 yeah it's again 5 it's 5 and the bottom diameter is 150 and 100 so here the outer diameter is 150 so here you just click this is the 150 and here this is the 100 diameter is 100 and this offset distance is 10 this offset distance so click these two lines you will get the offset distance is 10 so that is the all the dimensions so uh, our dimensions are correct so our drawings are correct so next I will save this uh, this drawing file so file save us uh, again go to local disk D that's my folder then go to screwjack folder local disk D go to local disk D and then go to screwjack and then save so this is saved so the next step is uh, I will uh, uh, convert this into a PDF file I want to take the printout so first go to file then there is an option called export export pdf then uh, again go to local disk d then screw jack so body pdf file save so now you can uh, th so th this sheet size is a4 size so you can take a pr printout so i will show you go to local disk 
local disk D, then screw jack, this body, we can see double click here so you can see the you can see the uh, the drawing of the uh, body top view front view side view and a picture view. so I, I just close it so next option is uh, uh, I just open the uh, local, go to local disk D and then screw jack I just open the body open so this is the body then next is uh, another option is called rendering okay so how to render this uh, body I will show you an example of rendering so go, uh, go to environments then uh, there is an option called inventor studio so click inventor studio then uh, you can uh, there is an option called render image so click render image then uh, in the in that window you can see general output render etc so just go to click general and you can see the width and height so you can adjust it so i will convert change it into 1920 by 1080 and uh, you can change the current view camera and uh, the lighting style so that is default okay so if you want to change you, you can change then render so now the rendering window opens so you can see your uh, body that will render so rendering you can say rendering it will take some time because uh, because we are uh, 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 rendering using high quality So in the in the top portion you can see rendering is going on so here in the left side one by one rendering so in the bottom portion you can see the iteration completed in the bottom left you can see iteration to the iteration completed is eight okay so it's going on iteration completed nine okay it's going on and the prepare time you can see in the bottom and the render time you can see here so now the iteration completed is ten okay so here uh, in, the, in the right side once the rendering is completed there is an option called a save or rendered image so once the rendering is completed then only it will active otherwise it will not active so here in the right portion so once the rendering is completed you just click here and you can save this rendered image of the body so you can see some good quality uh, ren uh, image rendering image so it's going on uh, now the iteration completed you just uh, see the iteration completed is 14 uh, it's uh, prepare time render time is uh, you can see 133 134 135 etc so in the top portion you can see the rendering is going on rendering is going on it will uh, it will moving so it will take some time yeah the rendering is going on so you can see your uh, your body your rendered body how is it is it good yeah so rendering is very very important that means visualization is viewing so it's it's going on render output now now the iteration completed is 21 rendering one by one render time is 2 35 36 37 etc it's going on so it's almost completed it's it's in the final stage rendering in final stage now the iteration complete is 24 so iteration is uh, iteration will complete within a uh, few time within seconds 
so now iteration complete is 26 27 the render time is uh, 325 so rendering is going on yeah it's uh, it's completed it's iteration completed is 29 now the iteration completed is 29 30 yeah in the final stage <coughs> final stage of rendering yeah it's it's you can see uh, in the top portion rendering is completed if you want to uh, continue the rendering so here in the in the top uh, right side you can see continue rendering okay so it will render if you if you if you are not satisfied with this rendering you can continue rendering okay so once you uh, if you are satisfied with this rendering you just uh, click the uh, save rendered image and then again go to local disk d then select the screw jack folder and then you can see body and this is the png file or you can uh, any file jpg file anything okay save so now this file is saved you can close it you can close it and you just uh, click the finish in Inventor studio just go to this uh, screw jack local disk d and body so this is the rendered image this is the rendered image of body so in this video you will get an idea about how to create a body using a revolve command uh, then um, how to uh, um, uh, convert this uh, uh, into a drawing file so how to take uh, front view top view and side view and uh, pictorial view how to take sectional view how to uh, check the dimensions then how to uh, 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 um, continue with the rendering so all the portions are covered okay so in the next topic i will i will uh, create the design of a nut thank you